Does this login screen look familiar? I'm not too sure. Okay, wait a minute. Let's add this. And this. And finally this. How about now? Of course, it's the GitHub login screen. Yes, that's right. The first thing returning users will see when they need to access an application is the login screen. And in this video, I'll show you how to build GitHub's login screen using Chakra UI. Follow me. This is a vid project and I've already installed Chakra UI. I start by developing the GitHub logo component. To do this, I head over to the site and I copy the SVG element. Back in the editor, I create a GitHub logo file and paste in the icon. Now, I'm just going to create a login.jsx file where we'll build the screen. To build out the top section of the screen, I import the GitHub logo I just created and then head in from Chakra UI. I make the heading and H1 of course and add the required styles. Also, from the design, you'll notice the logo and heading are at the center of the screen. We can achieve this by wrapping VStack around logo and heading. Chakra's VStack is really just a stack with an align center applied to it. I also apply a spacing of 24 pixels and a top margin of 32 pixels. I use 6 and 8 in the editor because Chakra UI uses a numeric spacing scale where 1 unit equals 4 pixels. Moving ahead, let's build out the second section containing the form elements. From observation, you'll notice the input elements and button are inside a card. Thankfully, Chakra UI provides a card component we can use as a container for these elements. So I go ahead to import card, giving you the required styles. A background color, a variant of outline, and the actual border color. Let's begin to add in our form elements and for this I'll be using Chakra's form control component. This is because it just makes creating form elements more convenient. I add in the form control for input, giving it a label. The input type is text and I add in the required styles. All of these styles were gotten from GitHub so I'm really just putting the exact styles that are on the GitHub login screen. Similarly, I do the same for password input, except for this, I need to add in an H stack to lay out the label and the forgot password link. So let's see what we have so far. Hmm, it's not looking so great, but we are going to fix this shortly. Let's go ahead to add the sign in button, giving it a background color, as well as the styles for the hover and active states. So let's check out what we have. At this point, there are three things we need to do. The first is to stack the input fields and button since they have a uniform spacing of 32 pixels between them. The 
Next, we need to wrap all the form elements within a form so that their values can be sent up to the server on Summit. Finally, from what we have now, you can notice there's no padding around the content. We can fix this easily by wrapping the card body component exported from Chakra around the entire content. This adds some padding between the card and its content. Nice! You can see it's taking shape. Let's quickly fix this by adding justify content space between on the edge stack. Let's move ahead to build the third section. This is a card with the content horizontally stacked and centered on the screen. So to build this, I import card and card body, giving them the required styles. Now I can add the text and the link. See what we have so far. The content needs to be flexed. I can do this easily using the H stack and add the necessary style props. In this again, you'll notice that the content isn't centered. Let's grab the center component and wrap it around H stack. We should also center our entire content and stack in all of the sections. Yup, QED, that's easily done. Finally, I can easily create the footer section by laying out all the links and of course stacking them horizontally with a spacing of 16 pixels between them. Let's check out what we have. To center these elements, we need to use the center component and give it some styles. Great. Of course, you can take this further if you're working on a large project by creating a custom theme object and putting your brand colors into the theme. That's about it. Let me know what else you love to see built with Chakra UI. Till next time, keep building.